So in this week's parasha, we learn primarily first about the Bechoyra and then about the Brochus. And if we learn these parashas, Lefib Shutan, Yankov doesn't appear to be entirely a Ishtam Yoshev Oyhalim. I think we learn to learn these sugyas according to the Zayra Kodesh. Totally different perspective and a profound understanding. The Zoya says when Yankov tries to get the Bechayra out of Esav and he takes advantage of Esav's desperation, why does Yankov need the Bechayra? It has nothing to do with his own benefit. It has nothing to do with him. Yankov knows Beruach Kodesh or Beruach HaKodesh. Bechayra and Bruch are the same letters. The Zoya says, the brochas are designated for the Bechor. Yankov needs the Bechor only because he needs the brochas. And actually, Yankov is the Bechor. Beni Bechori Yisrael, the Novi says. But Yankov wants to cement that right. And he wants to make sure that there will be no question. Yankov needs the Bechor to get the brochas, the Zayar explains. And why does he need the brochas? So the Zohar goes into detail. Yankov during his lifetime got four different sets of brochas. The most important ones are the ones from this week's parasha. The ones he achieves from Yitzchak Bimirma. The conspiracy of Rivka together with Yankov to get Esav's brochas out of Yitzchak. When Yitzchak is afraid for Yankov's life and he tells him, go to Padan Aram Be'yavorech Oisai. And then a Kodesh Boch was Nigra Yankov Avinu, and he gets the third brocha. And the final ones are the climax in Parshas Vayishlach Vayyovik Ish Imoi Adaloi Seshachar Loyeshalecha Chokim Birechtoni, and the Malach benches him once again. The Zoyer explains. Yankov had a very difficult lifetime, many trials and tribulations, but for himself, Yankov takes the lesser brochas, the ones that are least important. They were all important, but out of the four, Yankov for himself takes the brochas that Yitzchak benched him when he leaves Yitzchak's home on his way to Lovan. The other three brochas are for Klal Yisrael throughout the generations. And we were Zoyche in Geulas Mitzrayim and in Binyam Beis Amigdosh Harisha in the first Beis Amigdosh and the merit of one brocha. We were Zoyche of Geulas Boval and Binyam Bayashayni in the merit of another brocha. And the most important brochas, the ones of this week's Pasha, are the ones that will ultimately bring us out of Golas Edoim. And we will be Zoyche to the Bayas Ashlishi, to Yeshua Seilomim, and to the Geulas Shalema. That is why Yankov needs the brachas. And that is why Yankov needs the Bechayra. Only by getting the Bechayra does he know he will have the brachas. And when we learn the Zoya, everything becomes, gets a different perspective. It's not about Yankov. But I still ask, why was it Menashe Shemayim that Yankov will get these brachas bederech miramo? Why did that need to be? And why couldn't Yankov get the brochas in an honest, straightforward, clear way? There will come times in which it won't be obvious who's Yankov and who's Esau. There won't be that much of a difference. It already happened. By Kriyas Yamsov, Chazal says, Sora Shalyam argued, Manishtan Elo me Elo, Alolo Ibda by the Zora, Alolo by the Zora. Why? Why should I split for the Jews and not for the Egyptians? They don't seem to be that much different. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, this is the way I want it to be. The Novi Malachi, who was the last Novi, says, I love you. Why? How? How do we know? Yankov and Esav are two brothers. I love Yankov and I hate Esav. And the Navi seems to say, it's not because they're that much different, but this is the way I want it to be. This is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu says. 
So at the end of days, many Jews won't be that much different from their Goyish friends, but they still will be redeemed. So Davka, these brachas that will make the ultimate difference and it is in the merit of these brachas that we will be zayich at the end of days of Agulah Shleima were given to Yankov when Yankov actually appeared to be Esau and there was no difference between Yankov and Esau and Yitzchak actually thought that he's bestowing these brachas on Esau and from Yitzchak's perspective Yankov got them by mistake this is the way it had to be Menashemayim because we will need these brochas at the end of days whether we deserve them or not and some of us some of us many of us right now the majority of us appears to be not that much different than Ace of the Af Al Pikein these are the brochas that will get us out of the Golas these are the brochas that will bring us all home home to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, home to Eretz Yisrael, home to Yerushalayim, Ir HaKodesh, home to Mashiach Tzidkenu, V'meheru V'yomeinu.